take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. An inference is an idea or conclusion that's drawn from evidence and reasoning. An inference is an educated guess. We learn about some things by experiencing them firsthand, but we gain other knowledge by inference, the process of inferring things based on what is already known. Take our lead. Making an inference involves using what you know to make a guess about what you don't know or reading between the lines. Readers who make inferences use the clues in the text along with their own experiences to help them figure out what is not directly said, making the text personal and memorable. Take our lead. 8 Activities to Build Inference Skills Class Discussion How we use inferences every day Make an anchor chart Use the New York Times What's Going On in This Picture feature Watch Pixar short films Use picture task cards and what is it? Teach with wordless books Making multiple inferences from the same picture Thought bubbles with text Make your mark, take our lead. Inference is using observation and background to reach a logical conclusion. You probably practice inference every day. For example, if you see someone eating a new food and he or she makes a face, then you infer he does not like it. Or if someone slams a door, you can infer that she is upset about something. Make your mark, take our lead. We use inference all the time in daily life. The following situations are examples of inference. The sandwich you left on the table is gone. Crumbs lead to your dog's bed, and a piece of meat hangs out of her mouth. Let's help you make your mark. Another fun way to introduce inferring is to create mystery bags. Collect several items that students can use as clues to guess where you might be going or what you might be doing. For example, one bag might have a pair of sunglasses, some sunscreen, and a beach towel. Point three November 2019. Make your mark take our lead. The following are ideas and activities teachers can use to reinforce inferring information from text. Show and infer. Rather than show and tell, have students bring in a few items that tell about themselves. Fill in the blanks. Use pictures from magazines. Shared reading. Graphic thought organizers. Take our lead. A conclusion or opinion that is formed because of known facts or evidence. Examples of inference in a sentence. 1. From the data collected, scientists were able to make the inference that the water was polluted to the extent it was unsafe to drink. Let's help you make your mark. You can infer that Harry's parents have died because he doesn't live with them. You can infer that his aunt and uncle don't like him because of where he sleeps. Sam runs away from home to go live in the woods. You can infer Sam is not happy with his home life because he ran away. Take our lead. Ultimately, the difference between inference and prediction is one of fulfillment, 
while itself a kind of inference, a prediction is an educated guess, often about explicit details, that can be confirmed or denied, an inference is more concerned with the implicit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.